Hey everybody, Jim from Cigar Cigar Cigars and today I am reviewing the Oliva V which this particular size as you can see is uh, very thin. It's a Lancero also known as a Panatella size. So this is 7 inches long, 38 ring gauge. So it's a pretty pretty narrow cigar. I've smoked a couple of these before and they last a while. They and It isn't like the thinness makes them a, a, a real fast smoke. So it's pretty satisfying. One of the things I think you get out of a Panatella or a Lancero or for that uh, matter a Lonsdale which is a little bit thicker is you get more of the wrapper flavor. And the wrapper supposedly is where the flavor in the cigar comes from so that's a good thing. So um, I'm kind of a fan of, of, the, of the Lancero. So let's fire this baby up and, and see what we got. The Oliva V is a Nicaraguan Puro, which means it's all, all the tobacco comes from Nicaragua, one country. And as you probably would guess, Cubans are, are always Puros. But there really aren't a great number of uh, puros from Nicaragua or Honduras or Dominican. So um, to have a puro is somewhat unusual because they mix and match tobacco from various countries to, uh, to come up with the best blend. This wrapper is billed as a uh, Habano wrapper and it comes from the Jalapa region of Nicaragua, which is known to be the most, it's got deep, deep, dark soil, very sunny. And it's a ligero, and ligero means it's the top primings or the top cuts of the plant, which are the thickest, usually the darkest green, and also the strongest. So this makes this a pretty strong cigar. I'm going to... It's a tricky cigar because it's got a lot of flavor. It's a good, good flavor. It's supposed to, it's build as being very, very bold. But, uh, you know, it really doesn't come across that way. I'm going to give it a, a, an eight and a half on terms of boldness. But uh, I'm probably getting fooled a little bit because it really does have a very nice balance to it. The uh, other thing that uh, Oliva bills about this cigar is they say that the, the wrapper is aged extra long. Which, again, the reason for that is to make it a more mellow smoke to kind of offset the, the boldness of, of the cigar. This particular, uh, the Oliva V, not the Lancero necessarily, but all the sizes of the Oliva V, have been rated 90 plus over 30 times, which, so it's a pretty good cigar. Um, how this fits into the Oliva line is I kind of wanted to, to put that into perspective. The V is up near the very strongest cigars. They have a master blend, they call it that, or master three blend or something like that, that, um, is, is a little bit stronger and then they have of course the Milano version of the V which is also strong but a different flavor profile but uh, those are the strong ones and then and the O is pretty middle middle body G is considered less than middle body and then of course they have a Connecticut version as well of their cigar so Oliva is a, a, generally a very good cigar enjoy smoking them I'm gonna have a couple more puffs here Uh, reminds me, I was out shopping with my wife a few days ago, and of course we were going on, you know, some gifty type stores. And but I thought I'd take a shot, and I went into one store over there, and I asked if they had cigars. And the the guy said, "No, but we have cigar holders. No cigars." So that that particular uh, adventure was close, but no cigar. So I'm going to leave you to enjoy that really good pun, and I'm going to check in later when we're a little bit further. See you later. All right, we're back reviewing the Oliva Siri B, and I'm a good ways through it here. Again, this is a Lancero with Panatella, thin, thin cigar, um, but it lasts a while. I mean, it's been 20 minutes or so that I've been smoking this at least, and it's still got a little ways to go. Enough to rate it, though. I'm going to give this a nine, nine out of ten. Great balance. A cigar like this, a strong cigar that has a great balance, not overwhelming spice, that's, that's a, a little bit of a rarity, and I think we should appreciate that. So Oliva V is definitely a very strongly recommended. 
I've had other sizes with this cigar, and they're they're all they're all good. But honestly, there's something to be said for this uh, this this Lancero size as well. I am pairing this today, I must say, with Diet A and W root beer, and it is a perfect match for this cigar. It's it it's got enough flavor that that it complements the cigar. They they balance each other out a little bit and good. And I got to tell you about A and W too. You know it. it I don't know if, you know, in my particular demographic, when I was a little kid, it was a big deal to have your folks take you to the A&W and have root beer and a root beer float. My dad very seldom popped for root beer float, but, you know, go out for a nice cold root beer on a hot summer day. So that is, is, is not a bad drink to have. So anyway, that's about it for Cigar, Cigar, Cigars for today. Uh, Oliva Siri B is a good one. I will see you next time.